Good afternoon. I'll ask you a question. What really attracts you? Notice actually what it is you get. I'm talking about relationship, by the way, in dating, just to be clear what we're talking about here. Because you may notice that what you're getting isn't what you think you want. So what you're attracting isn't what you really desire. That'll make sense in a moment as I explain more. And this, by the way, is episode number 841. I'll get into that in greater detail. Before that, let me introduce myself, and then we'll get right to it. Uh, my name is Barry Selby. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I'm, an ins- I'm an inspirational speaker, love and relationships expert, a best-selling author of the book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, and I am a passionate champion for the divine feminine, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. Because of my work and because of the things I've done, I started doing these talks over almost three years ago now called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring a Feminine Heart. And today we're episode number 841. Yes, I've got a few of these. I'll tell you the back end where you can find the replays. And I'm going to invite you to have a chat with me at the end as well if this speaks to you. So the topic today, as I said, is what really attracts you? And notice what it is you get in terms of the dates, relationships, experiences, traumas, challenges you have. Because the thing is, if they don't match what you think you want and what you're getting, there's an issue here. And so I'm going to help you clarify that and shift it. Interested? Hope you are, because I want to get into detail. So let me break it down in simple terms initially. Have you met somebody you thought was an amazing person, but when you got into a relationship over a period of weeks and months, you sort of figured out that they weren't quite the person you thought they were going to be? And maybe what you had together wasn't an ideal match. In fact, you felt more and more like you made a bad choice. Sound familiar? I can certainly say from my own experience, I've had that happen at least a couple of times, just to be transparent. If you have experienced that, first of all, you're not alone, because as I already said, I've done it, but other people have too, because this is, a, this is a prevalent experience for people in life. Now, you probably haven't surveyed all your friends and strangers and other people around you about what their dating experience has been like, but I can pretty much guarantee, pretty much guarantee, that a lot of them have got the same thing happening, where they're, what they want and what's showing up aren't the same thing. There's a reason for this, which I'll get to in a moment. So. Stay, hang in there. We'll get to that in a second. The real, excuse me, challenge that we have is that we don't really focus our energy where we want to go intentionally, consciously, and authentically. That's going to make sense in a moment too, by the way. We tend to hold this vision, this idea of what we want. And to be honest, most people don't have a real clear vision of what that is. And then we go on the dating apps and dating sites and go searching, seeking, and trying to find something that we think we want but it's not what we get. We get something different, in fact. And that difference is, at times, extremely frustrating. And for some people, they're resigned to the fact they can't have what they want. Let me say that again, because I'm realizing there's a truth in here. They have a, cl- have a clear intention of what they think they want. That somewhere out there is a vision. But then what they're doing is getting different results. And so they give up thinking they can't have what they want. That is a really, really <laughs> unfortunate choice, because because I'm going to say this another way. <laughs> I'm trying to explain this in a way that lands. So having the wrong choice, making the wrong choice to not get what you want does not mean you can't have what you want. Let me be clear because there's two different things going on. Let me, let me try to explain another way because I'm seeing it very clearly, but I'm not, it's not coming through clearly. So let me try it again. <laughs> and thanks for joining my broadcast, by the way. Oh, yes, and another PS. This is a Facebook Live I'm doing first. So in case you're watching on YouTube and you're wondering who I'm talking to, besides you that's watching this now, other people watching on YouTube on Facebook Live first. So, so there. Making the decision that you can't have what you want because you haven't gotten what you want so far is a massive leap and a mistaken leap of misbel- missed belief. Try another way. Yeah. So let me explain what I'm talking about. Because I've been mean, holding the tension long enough. It's been a couple of minutes. Let me dive into the topic at heart. What attracts us often isn't what we think it is. I'm dropping, I'm dropping these, I'm spacing these out because I want these to sink in and you you can make notes if you want, because this is a powerful piece of the transformation experience of relationships when you do it the right way, because most of us, including myself in the past, have done it the wrong way. And the wrong way beings, we don't know, we don't get clear about our intention. We don't focus on what we want to attract and we get something different from that because we have a lot of different things in our field of awareness, our consciousness, our presence, our experience, that aren't all aligned to the same vision. 
And this is true of other areas besides relationship. This is true of business, money, spiritual practice, health, all these different things are affected by the same thing because it's the same paradigm working inside, which is, well, let, me, let me do it this way. Okay, this is, I was waiting for analogies to drop in and this one showed up, so we'll try this one out. So imagine the game of pool or billiards. Pool's better actually, because pool's more an American game. Most people watching this are in America, does so it make sense. So you have all the balls set up in the, in the triangle format and you have the cue ball and you're about to hit it. You may have the intention to get one of the balls into a pocket, but the truth for most people when they're playing pool is they hit that triangle of balls, they just hope that any one of them goes in. Because hopefully, because you hit, not hit hard enough, they scatter and one of them may hit a pocket. Now in pool, that's fine because you don't have a particular need for the right one to go in the right pocket. You don't have to call every single ball from the get-go. At least most of the games of pool I played, that's not always done. This is the thing about relationships, and it's going to make sense in a moment, trust me. The, 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 the thing is, when you aim and you think you know what you're looking for, but you're basically aiming at a amorphous, uncertain vision, then anything that goes in will be what you attract. Now, let me see, no, that, that didn't come out right. <laughs> let me see if I'm putting other ways that lands, because the thing about this, this analogy, it does, it does fit. At least I believe it does. You haven't, okay, there we go. So let's just say the ball on the front of that triangle is the vision of what you want in a relationship. Everything else is not, not relevant to you in your awareness. However, the rest of your consciousness, presence, beingness, stomach, heart, mind, soul, all these different pieces, has all the other balls in that triangle. It's gonna make sense, trust me. So when you hit the triangle with the cue ball and you aim that front ball, because that's the one you're aiming for, all the other balls go flying, but the one you aim for doesn't go in the pocket. Other ones do. The reason being is that we have more than one energy in our awareness attracting things. And depending on which one's strongest is going to, going to be drawing that particular corresponding um, experience. So let me say another way. Say for example that you have five different energetic things running in you. You have your awareness of what you think you want. You have your heart's desire which may be different from that. You have your practiced experienced relationships in the past floating as well, so that's three. Maybe there's two more floating as well, so let's say five total. Which one of those five has the strongest pull, the strongest attraction, the strongest magnet pulling in what you want? Well, based on results, the one that gets the, the one that shows up is the one that's going to be the one that lines up. So for example, you have a mental picture of a perfect partnership that's going to be easy, graceful, and flows perfectly. Your heart's desire is someone that's going to trust you and love you and support you through your most greatest challenges. It may not be your conscious awareness, but it's in your heart. However, your subconscious mind has a real attachment to a paradigm of addiction. Say what? Your subconscious mind, as I've talked about in other broadcasts, has a fixation on something that's familiar to it that ties to love. And because it's your subconscious mind, it has all of the battery power of your awareness inside it. I mean, battery, whatever, analogy. It has all the power tied to it. So when you're looking for love and you're getting the same wrong experience that you don't want, it's likely tied to your subconscious mind's energy that's pulling it in, because it has the most um, attractive energy. It's pulling it in stronger than anything else is. So even though you have a mindset of what you want and you have a heart's desire of what you want, your subconscious mind is much stronger than all of that combined. So what you get in your relationship experience is what matches your subconscious programming, subconscious belief. It's all the other cube, all the other balls in that triangle on the pool table. That relationship will still work to a degree. However, it ain't gonna be what you want. Now I said this in the title, sorta of, kinda. Get clear about what it is you're attracting because that's gonna be your um, evidence diagram, sort of thing, your receipt for what happened. <laughs> When you look at your partial relationships, especially if you're single now and you're looking back at partial relationships, because it's going to be a perfect time to look at this, notice what it is you attracted in terms of the qualities of the relationship, how they treated you, how they didn't treat you, how they supported you, loved you, served you, tr respected you, or didn't do any of those things, how they were with you all the time, or how they avoided you, how they were loyal to you, or how they cheated, how they were accountable to their own authenticity, or they weren't. All these different things are feedback for you to know what you're attracting. 
if you like that and you don't want to change it, then go right ahead. This, this talk has no relevance to you because you're already on the right path. But if you're like most people, you'd like better. You'd like different. You'd like something more um, fulfilling, more attractive, more ideal, for want of a better word. Now, on a spiritual perspective, all relationships are okay because everything's all right. Everyone's a spiritual being. Every human experience is all fine. But functionally speaking, that isn't really what we want to deal with here because for most of us, we want to have a relationship that's going to work for us because the thing is, spiritually speaking, anybody on the planet is going to work out as a partner, but you don't want to be with everybody. In fact, 99.9% .9 of the people on the planet you wouldn't want to be with, plus the fact the ones that are married are not available, et cetera, et cetera. But, so it's about getting specific about what you really want because you want to have a physical human participation experience, not just a spiritual connection. We know spiritual connection with everybody. So that's, by the way, it's one of the other, that's, that's one of the other, that's the fourth one out of the five. I didn't get around all the five in clearly, but that's one of them. So what to do? Before your next relationship, focus upon what you really want. Now, again, as I said, if you focus on what you want from here, your awareness, you're going to have a vision of what you want. But if you look back at your past relationships, that didn't match. There's a difference between what you're focusing on and what you're getting. That's a clue that something else is going on. Again, your subconscious, that piece of you that you don't have necessary direct awareness of, is busy going, I want that. Even though you're saying, I want this, but you're getting that all the time because the power of your subconscious is stronger than your conscious mind and your heart combined. Sorry to say. However, you can change that when you go deep enough into resolving those paradigms. And I said at the beginning, I'll put a link in the comments if you reach out to me at the end, because this is something that most people don't bother doing. It does require a willingness to change, just to be clear. Because if you're doing the same thing again and again, it's basically a different result, as is attributed to Albert Einstein, that's the definition of insanity. If you keep doing the same thing again and again, the odds of it changing are very low just to be clear. So you've got to change what you're doing to get a different result. If your dating experience, your relationship history hasn't been what you wanted, then something needs to change in you to change the course of where you're going in the future. Again, be aware of what you're attracting. Notice if you want to change it or not. If you don't want to change it, fine. If you do want to change it, this is where you get to go deeper. Simply put, and I'm breaking it out simply because this is a lot of my own background and experience and training that's put me to this place of knowing, is you're going to attract what you're resonating with until you change what you're resonating with. Let me say another, that came out a bit weird. Let me say another way. You're going to attract what you don't want until your alignment inside matches what you really do want. When you're really lined up to what you do want, you'll change what you attract. It's that simple. It's like basically changing the frequency of the radio, free, radio channel to get what you want. Actually, it's a better analogy. Let me try that one on. These analogies are popping in, so I'm going to use them. On old-fashioned radios, for those of you who remember them, <laughs> because this isn't easy to illustrate, you had a tuning knob that you would turn and the needle would move across back and forward and you tune it into a given frequency. If you don't tune it accurately, you won't get a clear signal. If you don't tune it accurately, you may get the wrong signal that you don't want to listen to. Maybe you want to listen to classical music and you keep getting rock and roll and it keeps getting in the wrong place. Unless you're tuning inaccurately and you change the frequency to the right point, you're going to keep getting the wrong choice of station for your, cho your preference. That's the same thing in relationships. Unless you change that frequency, you change that attraction level, you change your alignment inside to what lines up for you truly, where all of you lines up, all five of those different aspects are on the same page. Until when you do that, then you start drawing into you a relationship that really fits what you really want. And you'll notice what you're attracting has shifted from what you used to attract to what you now want. It sounds simple, I know. <laughs> but I work with my clients for a period of usually three to six months because it takes that much time, especially if you're over 20 years old, to go through and undo all that wiring that's inside, that tuning that's out of frequency, so you can actually line up to what you really want and get what you really truly desire. As I say, it's not for the faint of heart, but the truth is, if you really want something heartfelt that lines up for your heart's fulfillment, it's worth every moment when you're willing to do the work. So I'm going to put a link in the comments so you can reach out to me and have a chat.
Yes, I link in the comments, you can reach out to have a chat. Nothing else, just that. I mean, my books, you can reach out, you can find out about my book and other things too, but I want you to really consider if you want to get support. My invitation to you is take charge of your love life intentionally by getting some guidance by somebody like myself. Now, I'm going to unpromote myself because this is my video, I can do that. In the comments will be a link, this is for the ladies in particular, but I'll, I'll just do it this way. The link in the comments is, for, is to a application form that is designed for ladies to fill out. Just think if it's, if it, I'm not sure, I don't, I don't think, it is gender specific, okay. So if you guys are interested in getting support, message me over social media. If you're watching this on Facebook, message me over Facebook. If you're watching it on YouTube, message me over YouTube. Either way is fine. But for the ladies, there's a way form, there'll be a link in the comments for a chat with me. It's a complimentary conversation for we can talk. So you can share with me what's going on, what's not lining up, what you'd like to have happen, and I can share if I can help you or not. That's simple. No, no strings attached. There will be an invitation probably if it lines up, but there'll be no strings attached. Gents, if you want to reach out for support, message me over social media, and we can talk separate. I'll, send, I'll make a separate form or something for that, because again, it was gender-based. But I'm inviting you to look at this clearly. If your dating choices are matching what you want, if your dating um, experiences are not matching what you want, if your relationships are not are draining you rather than filling you, energetically speaking, maybe you want to consider what I said as truth. Maybe you want to consider what I said as your next steps. Maybe what I'm offering in my link is what you want to follow up on. Actually, I'm going to cross out the maybes and say, yes, it is. I'm biased, but I've done this work to the study so I can help you get what you want because it's worth it. If you're really fed up with the experiences you've had in past relationships, it's time for a change. The link will be in the comments. Check it out. I invite you to make the choices. If you have any questions about this broadcast or about what I said, please put them below and I'll respond when I sign off. This is a pivotal piece for some people. It's a wake-up call to, to you to understand what really is going on and what you can have differently. This is probably one of my, my more blunt talks. I've talked about this quite a lot over the years, but I want to make it more real and more clear that you can have what you want if you're willing to do the work. And I can help you get there much faster than you do it on your own. That's a promise, by the way. So with that, I thank you for watching. My, this is my Facebook Live I do every day, by the way, at 5 p.m. Pacific time, seven days a week. You can find this on my personal page, which is Barry Selby. The replays go to my business page, which is, you can like my business page, which is Barry Selby the author. You can find them all there. Well, most of them, it seems like most of them, some of them seem to disappear. I'm not sure if there's a maximum number of videos that can be stored on a business page. But anyway, I do have them saved on my YouTube channel, especially for that reason. So if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby on YouTube, it's uh, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Barry Selby. There is a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. That is my um, most accurate archive in reverse order from newest to oldest. You can browse and peruse as anytime you want. Again, reach out for support, make this important for you if you want to have amazing relationships if you don't care then so be it but i think you do if you're watching my broadcast get support get the love you need get the love you desire and get support you need and i hope you get there so with that i thank you for watching i'll be back again tomorrow same time same channel and i do appreciate you being with me i invite you to take care of yourself because you're the only one you can do that yes you're the one to take care of yourself with that i thank you for watching i'll see you again tomorrow same time same channel take care